morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. Let us get settled in. Let's have some coffee. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. All right, today we are going to talk about peeling away the layers, okay? And we are really going to just start there and go, how do we look on the inside? How do we start removing what's holding us back so that we can propel forward? So again, we're going to talk about peeling away the layers. So a lot of times in order to get through each and every day, we kind of put this this layers on us, right? It, you know, whether or not it's making sure you're not too sensitive or making sure you're feeling protective, like we are so fearful of taking chances and moving towards what our soul is guiding us to do. We start to settle into our lives and then we create this barrier where we just start to go day to day to day rather than forcing ourselves to dive in deeper, forcing ourselves to try something new, forcing ourselves to kind of go outside of our habits so that we can let go of what is holding us in place. Because we're meant to grow, we're meant to expand, and we're really meant to dive in deeper to who we are, to our soul, to our connection. But when we are resistant because we're stuck in a pattern, we're, you know, afraid of change, we're afraid of failing and all of the baggage that we bring in through the trial and error, through disappointment, through sadness, through grief, you know, the more we accumulate that and bring that in and carry that forward, the more stuck we're going to become. Okay, so, and when you're stuck, it's really hard to make change. It's hard to kind of grow and expand outside of it. So it's got to start with those things. First of all, ask yourself, are you the type of person that always looks for the same parking spot? <laughs> right? Well, you don't try different parking spots, right? If you're that person, then you have to really understand that, hey, wait a second, I may be living in fear, like I may be willing to kind of do the same thing over and over rather than trying something new, rather than putting myself out there for something new. So one of the little things we could do, find a different parking spot, go in a different entrance, ask yourself, what is it you want to try, even if you're afraid to try it? So it's not about the big jumps, right? The big jumps can be really, really frightening and scary. So I'm not saying, hey, let's go quit our job and start something new. But what can you do? Maybe it's taking a new class, trying something interesting and fun. Maybe it's just those little bit of baby steps, putting yourself out there to meet new friends, right? A lot of times people say, well, it's COVID. I, I, I can't get out. I can't make friends. We can certainly make friends and engage with people, really engage, peeling away the layers of also what do people expect of you? right? Peeling away those layers so that you are in your authentic self. The more you can be your most authentic self, the more confident you will be, the more comfortable you'll be, and the more vivacious life will be for you, okay? So, but you know, what we can do is, you know, the more we peel away the layers to become in alignment with who we are and what we're meant to be doing, then you will find a layer of truth so much. The layer of truth will feel so good to you. There's no pretending. There, there's no false pretenses or, or false confidence. Like you're just truly who you are. So, and it really will help you. You know, that's just going to help you so much. Live a life that it doesn't, you know, that is simple. You're going to find that you, you can have a simple life that is unbelievably fulfilling, unbelievably incredible. And so ask yourself, where is it I'm playing it too safe? Where is it that people don't really see who I am? And where can I step outside of that a little bit more? Okay. Where can I look to, you know, let my personality out? We see that too as we, we age, as we get older, right? We might have been fun and free when we're younger and we, you know, you talk to people and, but as you get older, we become a little bit more reserved. Our circles get smaller. We 
don't go out as much. We try less. But ask yourself, what? where can you change some of that? You know, where can you create and have fun, okay? So it really is a sense of not letting, you know, all of our experiences kind of create this blockage, right? It's like scar tissue, literally. It's like emotional scar tissue. When you have physical scar tissue, you limit the movement, right? And what do we need to do with scar tissue? It needs to get broken down in order to allow the movement to restore itself to flexibility. It's emotional scar tissue. And the more you allow it to kind of pack on and pack on and pack on, then you aren't able to move. You aren't able to get around it. And so by allowing yourself to kind of massage it out, try new things, push yourself outside your comfort zone, you know what I mean? The more we start to do this, then we can start to create that freedom in that room. A lot of times too, I mean, we limit ourselves physically, emotionally, spiritually, and we're not meant to. We're not meant to. You know, we're really meant to take everything we can out of this physical experience. And what we take are memories, we take conversations, we take moments, and the more moments and memories we can create, then the more we've uh, done pretty well in this physical experience, okay? So ask yourself, where is it you have a protective layer on that needs to be removed? Where is it the scar tissue is holding you back? Where can you move past it? You know, when you were a kid, right? Think about it. When you were a kid, you were so willing to get out there and try something new. Like crazy stuff, right? Crazy stuff. So, you know, it's like it's crazy stuff. Like how many of you would sit there and get on a, a tree rope and jump off into water? Like, right? Or you're jumping off a mountain or you're mountain biking or whatever it is for you. Right. But now what are you doing? Are you still doing those things? Are you still? So let's ask ourselves. Let's ask ourselves, where can we start to move and create that change in our life? Peeling away the layers, unbelievably, unbelievably removing that emotional scar tissue to put you in your best self, your best, most authentic self, where that joy just flows, where that purpose just presents itself where there is no fear. And even if we do have fear, we can acknowledge it and not allow it to trap us. We can acknowledge it and say, yep, I understand it. I'm moving past it. Okay. So that is your coffee with Colby for today. Next week, you guys, we have the tap into your intuition and we have the Valentine's Spirit messages. So those are going to be two fantastic events. If you want to come join me, you can go to the website colbyrebel.com. Click on the link and grab your tickets and join me. This Thursday night is a date night. I cannot wait. And just remember, as always, to shine your light and shine it bright. And thank you guys for all the love and the beautiful compliments. Very, very sweet. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everybody.